Welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today is uh, June 10th, 2017, about 7 a.m. Um, this video is about the unknown swarm. I had a friend, a coworker of mine, over a month ago, um, was talking about he might have some bees at his property. Wouldn't mind taking one of my swarm traps and setting up at his property. Um, I hadn't actually heard from him in a while. I mean, I've seen him all the time, but hadn't heard anything with the bees. Happened, didn't really inquire upon him. Um, figured if once he called something, he'd let me know. Well, it's been a while. I figured let me go ahead and collect all my swarm traps up, see if we can bring him back. Because he's he lives about an hour away, and uh, I got a text last night from him saying um, we've got bees. So this video, uh, thanks Chad, thanks Christy. Um, this video is basically I'm gonna open this thing up. I haven't even looked inside of it. I don't know what's inside of here. All I do know is there's a lot of bees. There's a lot of weight to this thing. So. I guess we'll see how much bird comb we have or anything. And if I need to put a bee suit because I'm in direct line of this next hive here and they're coming to visit. So I'll move the camera and I'll show you what we're working with. Alrighty, got all the, sc got the screws and done and uh, removed or actually loosened from here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of smoke. I know nothing about these bees. So, get this out of the way. Here we go. This box was given to him to put up with one full brood frame, one old old brood, brood comb frame, <coughs> and four frames with a one inch starter strip at the top of the frames. Um, I'm seeing a lot of wax here. Uh, it's actually look good. Doesn't look like there's a lot of uh, much burr comb here. So, we'll go ahead and start taking these things out. I'm gonna put them in, just like installing a nuke. I'm gonna set them in the center of the colony here. If I see the queen, I'll point her out to you. Wow. This was a starter strip frame. Reason I can tell, <coughs> I got pins up here, I pinned the top of the wax. There's no uh, wire here. Look at the brood on this colony. Let's see if we can find her real quick. See her on this one. All right, let's go ahead and install this. Orient them the same way they came out of the box. <coughs> oh no. The comb actually just fell off of this frame. I'm going to pause the video, figure what I'm going to do here. Alright, here's the situation. I got about two inches of comb on this frame here. A whole section of comb fell off and fell down. Um, my plan is, I'm going to go ahead and move these two frames out. And then this piece of comb, luckily, I think part of your bee kit uh, carry small bag rubber bands, but I have these for my cutouts here. So get some number 32, 33 rubber bands. Um, <coughs> and I'm going to rubber band that comb back into this frame, just like doing a, a cutout. So I want to move these, make it a little bit easier here. Move these to the side. I'm going to go ahead and start and put these two in. Hopefully we don't have the same problem. This is one thing about bees being pinned in here. There is nothing that's holding these comb in place. Oh, this is actually a wired in frame. That's a good thing. No, it ain't. Ken's moving. 
one thing about inspection is they don't have this thing attached to the bottom so you have to be very careful when you're looking at things you can't just flip the frame over like normal that's looking for the queen she's a really good brood really good colony This is the brood frame, and actually, guess what? There she is. So, got the queen. No, she's not on that drop frame, so makes it a little bit easier working these things here now. So, all right. I'm gonna do this carefully. And get it my hand in here and grab that frame. Move this to the side. One thing that's is good about these uh, Harbor Freight number nine nitrile gloves. Not as pro, I guess a bit of a product pitch, but it's not is. Gives me that dexterity. Yeah. There it is. Very soft comb, very agitated bees. There's the other side of the frame. So actually what I'm gonna do I'm going to set this comb down on the frame, just like this for now. I'm going to try to do this quickly. Load the frame up with rubber bands. Just do one on each side for now. Agitated, but I just broke the comb off. All right, how about that for say? So hopefully they will reattach this back in the frame. Fill in the space between them there, which is fine. But all right. Fill these. Let me dress those. <coughs> Actually, they want me to take a photo. 
Well, good thing with gloves. I can still activate my smartphone. This is really good brew pattern. This comes very soft. Well, it's not real soft, but it's <coughs> pliable. Let's see if I can get the, find the queen again. I'll take a picture for them. Because they asked for some pics. See if she's still on here. Yep. Okay, did that. Alrighty. Storm traps installed. So we'll just shake the rest of these bees in here <coughs> and uh, close it up, put a feeder in front of it, and that's about the extent of it. So um, the storm trap was a success. Uh, glad uh, friends of mine were able to help me out. So uh, right now, all I'm going to do now is dump the rest of these bees in here. I'll set the hive body in front of it. And uh, the bees will take to hopefully take to their new home. There's our baggie with the uh, cotton swab in it. Let's see, I'm looking for some small high beetles. See if any of them are in here. I don't see any. I mean, might they're gonna shake a bunch of dust and probably. Uh, much of the other stuff on top of these bees, but they'll clean it all out. All right, set this to the front. And close everything up. Well, that's it from the Six Acre Farmstead. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.